everyone's like a little uncomfortable with like you constantly being like nude from the top up and like shirtless really? with, like everything yeah and like I honestly thought it, was, I thought it was just like a fun kind of no Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. All right, so last time we decided to invent a new Taco Bell item, the tuck rib. We made a beautiful commercial. It didn't exactly take root at Taco Bell corporate like we thought it would, and I realized why, because no one wants a good idea. No one wants tasty pork riblets stuffed into a fried bun. No, what they want is sex. Sex sells, sex is king. You got sexy people out there selling cologne, sexy people selling beer. So today, we are making the sex tuple layer taco. Sex is the Latin root for six. There's gonna be six layers in a taco. And no, it's not the Taco Town sketch from Saturday Night Live. Don't even, com don't even compare it to that. Don't even put that in your own, in your own head. It's gonna be super different. I've right, broken the recipe down into like th three steps, despite there being six layers in it, and we got a full written recipe down in the description. So let's get sexing. Let's get cooking is what I meant to say. You may have a couple questions right now. You're probably asking yourself, Josh, how much sex can you possibly fit into one taco? To which I'll say. Have you met my friend Al Pastor? He's he does he does I don't know I don't know what that was supposed to mean. But uh, the first layer that we're gonna do I want to do an Al Pastor taco. My theory on this I know Taco Bell's never gonna do this. You know Matt Prince, head of PR. You follow me on Twitter, but you didn't interact with the Taco Bell McRib. What's up with that? Probably didn't want to give McDonald's any free advertising. But point is, I want to take six delicious bread wrapped items that I enjoy from all around the world and put them together into one item to try and create the best food that has ever been made. So first up, we're gonna go like al pastor. I don't know what some people refer to as a street taco. Uh, I just like call it a taco because I don't know, all, like a lot of the best tacos you eat or they come from like a food truck or like a cart on the street. And so I'm going kind of like Southern California taqueria style al pastor that I grew up eaten. Uh, some people think that al pastor, right, came from like Lebanese immigrants to Mexico on the farms and all that, uh, and that it should be cooked on a vertical spit, and a lot of the best al pastor is. Uh, but there's also a lot of taquerias where they just like marinate small little chunks of pork and red chili and then uh, throw it on a griddle with pineapple, and it's really delicious. So that is what we're taking inspiration from. We're slicing up some of this beautiful, look at the fat striations on that pork leg, man. Make you look at it. I really like what's going on here. So we're gonna start slicing up this meat. I don't, I don't reckon Taco Bell would have the bandwidth to do this in their stores. Um, mostly because a lot of their stuff does come in just like a bag that they squeeze, you know? Like Taco Bell just gets giant beef sacks. Speaking of sex, giant beef sacks. Listen, okay, here, I'm gonna break the fourth wall here. When we were initially talking about this idea, I was like, six layer taco, we wrap it and all, and then someone was like, y you've never seen the Taco Town SNL sketch, have you? And I said, no, I'm not familiar with that. I was more of like a mad TV kid. Uh-oh, hot dog. Look what I can do. You know, stuff like that. Um, and then and then we realized that they did that. So so now we, we hit a, we had a quick little pivot, and so now we're we're in we're in kind of uncharted territory, and um I don't think any of us know what's gonna none of us know what's gonna happen with this. No real big question marks. Uh, all I know is you can at least learn how to make my favorite easy at home al pastor. And slice it up. Uh, I'm gonna like shut up and just cut this for a second. All right, beautiful. We have all of our pork chopped up in this bowl. I want nice small pieces, and now we're gonna create a marinade. We got some wahio chilies right here that I've been soaking in water. Ooh, yeah, it's nice and warm. This is so they blend nice and easy. And a beautiful red color there. And then, speaking of beautiful red color, we got achote paste. If you've never had achote paste, uh, just go like find it in a grocery store, or you can probably order it online, but this is a really delicious combination of spices, salt, and a natto seed, which is what gives a lot of things a red color. Gonna do the old triple palm heel strike. Now we have some clove, we got some cumin, we got black pepper, we got oregano and salt, and pop some of that in there and then pineapple juice. So typically, if you're cooking al pastor on a spit, you'll put like a piece of pineapple up at the top and then that sweats and drips down the meat. And then there is a, let me get this right, there's an enzyme in pineapple called bromelase? Bromine? Sick, brah, I think is what it's called. Um, but it tenderizes meat really well. And so that is one of the, the extra little benefits other than pineapple just being delicious. I'm gonna blend her up. There it goes. And we have all the salt we need in that marinade. I thin it out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take our nice little spicy adobo right here, and we're just gonna slop that all over the meat. You can smell all that cumin and oregano out there. That's really nice. And then we're just gonna mix this together. Shoot, man, I don't know where it went. And beautiful. Now we're ready to fry up some tacos of, I cannot stress this enough, 
one of our six layers going into the sex. So this was the worst idea. Why did we do this? We're gonna take a little bit of oil splash in there. We're gonna get our al pastor cooked. We gotta go quick because again, we do have to make six layers. I don't even know why I'm at it. That's nice and spicy. That's good news. You wipe off that there raw pork. We gotta start small because we're doing six layers of stuff. And so uh, pro tip, anytime you're making six layers of taco, you don't wanna make the first one pretty small. It's like how you can't fold a piece of paper in half more than 17 times. And that's the length that it takes to travel around the globe. How many times? Eight? I can do way more than eight. So I'm gonna give me a piece of paper. I'm gonna fold it more than eight times. Give it, give it. Yeah, easy. One, two, three. I'm gonna get at least 15. Four, you'll see. Ye of little faith. Five, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Six. Yeah, no, well, hold on. I... Stop. No, I can do it. That was six, still. I mean, ow. The paper almost got me. Nine! I know I'm doing it. You're lying! Rotina's down, got some nice char on that pork. You're gonna take a piece. Ow. That's not cooked. That's okay. <laughs> One layer down, next layer, light it up. Alright, so uh, layer number two, we have our alpha store taco. We're gonna make tacos gobernador. This is one of my favorite recipes. This comes from Sinaloa. Anyone who says that cheese and seafood don't go together ain't never eaten no tacos gobernador because it is a delicious saute of onions and peppers. It's like the shrimp quesadilla of your absolute dreams. So we're getting some bell pepper and some onion saute in there. We're gonna get paprika and a little bit of salt going on. And then we're gonna give this a nice sauce. We wanna cook this up nice and quick and hot, get those spices toasted. Beautiful, I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato. There's just a lot of all these ingredients in here. I mean, like, we've only got to make one. You know what I mean? Add some tomatoes in there, and then meanwhile, that hot, holy shnikes, that's hot. So we're gonna kind of get a tortilla going in there, flippy flap it around, because we need to get the cheese nice and melty. And kind of let that tortilla sit. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Just want to get it a little bit hot. Nice little saute action. Come on, shrimp. Come on, shrimp. Now we're gonna get, yeah, all the shrimp. Get all the shrimp in there. And then we're going with some cilantro. And then we're just gonna saute this nice, quick, and hot. Keep the juiciness of the shrimp. There we go. And meanwhile, yeah, that's getting nice and toasty on one side. So we're gonna take our queso Oaxaca, beautiful melting cheese. We're just gonna blanket that on there. I'm gonna turn that heat down a sec. Shrimp almost cooked. Give me a minute. Six layers? God. Here's the thing, Taco Bell, they had the double decker taco and then they took that off the menu. They had the triple lupa, which was the human centipede chalupa. Look up pictures, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then they had the triple double crunch wrap. They said that science could not go past four layers in a Taco Bell item. And we're out here proving them right. Guys, what's this commercial gonna be? I should probably take my shirt off at the railroad tracks again, right? Do you guys remember the last time we shot the cop, there was like a cop circling and I was just shirtless covered in barbecue sauce, just like, ossifer? Shrimp are nice and cooked and juicy. We're just gonna add some of that. Yeah, I have no utensils. And then we're just gonna oh, fold that, rip it off the griddle. And now we gotta take, oh God, hold on. No, it's okay. All right, now we gotta take our taco al pastor and that's gonna go right inside. And then two layers down, four more to go. We've made two layers of tacos, the gobernador and the al pastor, but now we, it, it's gonna get a little weird and hectic. Just follow along. So the next layer, these are all of my favorite flat dish breads from around the world. We're going to Hungarian Langos with the yogurt and the cheese, and we're just gonna fold that up. There we go, three layer taco. And then now four, we're going chapati with paneer tikka. Shoot, hold on, let's kind of pin that under the pot. There we go, so we're gonna take our paneer tikka and we're gonna kind of spread it over this chapati and that's beautiful. And then what is this gonna taste like, man? I have no idea, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, what the, all I know is this is sexy. Jesus, we'll just let that rest for a sec. All right, and then now we got lavash. Lavash is very, it's like a tortilla, but there's no fat in it. And so no, it's not the same as the other one. Then we're going to a nice spread of baba ganoush because I want that interplay of hot and cold. If there were a number that were smaller than six that had sex in it, I would. If it was like a sex, we could have just called it the four-way taco. So we got 
Now four <laughs> layers going into five. And now for the final one, we got the biggest roti the world's ever seen. Not really, there's, there's probably bigger ones, but this is ours. And then we're gonna take curry chicken. Take curry chicken on the roti and kind of get some on there. Hold on, I know you might think, Josh, this is, uh, if anything, offensive. Uh, probably not. I hope, I'm just a guy. And then two, um, do you think these flavors go together? And here's the thing that I'll say to that, absolutely. <laughs> they sure do. Everybody's just looking to feel something, you know? You got spices, you got meats, you got various cheeses and creams. And, 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 uh, that's really what cooking's all about. Turns out, you cannot fold a piece of paper more than eight times in half. But can you fold more than six <laughs> taco adjacent foods? <laughs> Clear the runway. Clear the runway, because we're going for it. The, it's a liquidy filling, so I'm gonna have to splash it up pretty quick. And, and uh oh. And here we have our super gourmet sex tuffle layer taco. I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. This basically sells itself, but what if I told you we made the greatest commercial world's ever seen? You've heard of the double decker taco. The triple decker taco. And even the quadruple decker taco. But now presenting the sex tuffle decker taco. We're putting the sex back in sex tuffle decker taco. Do you like that? Now if that doesn't sell tacos, I don't know what will. Hey, speaking of which, this looks incredible. Let's dig in. I'm gonna try and slice in the middle to get all sex tuffle of the layers. One, I see the pork. Two, three, okay, let's, let's how do we, and. I mean, it is very good. You don't quite understand what's going on in your mouth. You know, Hungarian Longo is just really dominating the conversation here. That said, I'm really into it. I mean, it's a really tasty food, all wrapped up. It's a little unwieldy, but you know, I think really. Josh. Yeah. Come with me for a second. Come, yeah. come. Okay. Um, did you take take your shirt off for like the the commercial and like everything else? Yeah. You're I mean, just shirtless. Yeah, it's kind of become like a, a thing. Right? Okay, I'm gonna tell you something, but mm -hmm. like, don't get offended or anything. No. Um, everyone's like a little uncomfortable with like you constantly being like nude from the top up and like shirtless, really? with, like everything. Yeah. And like I honestly. Thought it, was, I thought it was just like a fun kind of. No. It, and to be to be quite honest, it's quite trite. It's, you think it's, it's trite. trite? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, does it, do other people feel this? Ask. Do, do, you, do you all feel that way? Yeah. No, I mean, everyone deserves No, I know, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I just yeah, want, yeah, want no, to be I'm transparent. Sorry, no, no, yeah. I feel bad, no, yeah. I feel bad. For, no, don't feel bad, just it's next time, silly. change it. Yeah. Change it I for the better. I can, I can. I know you can, it. and that's, I mean, that's why I'm telling like you. I know. Person, I know. I know. Right. Okay. No, I mean, thank you for feeling comfortable enough to. Way to go, yeah. Thanks to me, so. Thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, The Hot Dog is a Sandwich, wherever you get your podcast. It is up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. Um, have open and honest conversations with your coworkers. See y'all next time. You sloppy son of a biscuit, get as messy as you want in your own kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towels. Available now at mythical.com.